Hi, I'm Todd Wood. I'm president of Core Academy of Science, and I love hominin fossils and human origins. And this is Fossil Focus. So today's Fossil Focus is all about this tiny little fossil right here. This is the Tong child. Uh, the Tong child was found in 1924 in South Africa. So the discoverer of the fossil was Raymond Dart. Raymond Dart grew up in Australia, uh, studied in London, and ended up going in 1922 to Johannesburg, South Africa to basically start the anatomy program at the University of the Witwatersrand. And by start the anatomy program, I mean, you know, from scratch. He had to literally build it. In 1924, uh, miners from Tong, which is a small village to the west of Johannesburg, brought him some skulls that they'd found while they were mining. Um, they were mining lime, basically. And Dart began to look through the crates of fossils that they found, and the original thing that he discovered was this cast. So this part of the fossil here is a cast of the inside of the brain case. Um, and it's pretty impressive. It preserves even um, fine details like blood vessels, which you can see a little bit right there on the fossil. F shuffling around through the other uh, material that was in the crate, he found a block that had a match to this, and he was able then to uh, reveal this face, um, which he realized must have been some sort of hominin. It was not uh, obviously similar to uh, what he knew as chimpanzees and gorillas. Now, others at the time argued that no, this was in fact chimpanzee and gorilla, but he said the things that he pointed out in his original paper were the, the proportions of the skull. The length of the skull this way is much longer than it is wide this way, and the face is taller than it is wide this way. And these proportions he interpreted as being consistent primarily with a hominin and not with um, something like a chimpanzee or a gorilla. Likewise, characteristics of the teeth and the jaw he pointed out are consistent, are inconsistent with ape fossils and are consistent with hominin fossils. And uh, the specific anatomy of the, of the um, nose here with the nasal bones uh, that he said were consistent with uh, a hominin. So within 40 days of discovering this fossil, he had published a paper in Nature describing it um, and giving it the name Australopithecus africanus. Now, his colleagues in Europe and America were, shall we say, unimpressed with his claims. They felt that the thing was most likely uh, something related to the chimpanzee or gorilla, not likely to be anything to do with hominin origins. And at the time, there was a lot of excitement, uh, for example, in Asia over the fossils that had been found there that we now call Homo erectus. Um, there was also excitement in Europe with regard to what was known as Piltdown Man, which would turn out uh, a good 30 years later to be definitively shown to be a forgery. Um, so this did not really fit into the expectations of what anthropologists at the time thought the sort of ape man creature would look like. So there was controversy, but eventually other fossils were found in the same area of South Africa, and those uh, showed similar traits to this thing, and the name Australopithecus africanus is still used for these fossils. Um, names for other fossils at the time have been dropped, so um, for example, the Asian fossils that I mentioned, uh, which were named um, Pithecanthropus erectus, now we just call him Homo erectus. Also, the, uh, the Peking man fossils, which were about to be found, um, Sinanthropus, 
uh, are now just known as Homo erectus also. But this guy still has a name that is in use by anthropologists today. And in fact, uh, now we know of a number of other species of Australopithecus. The name, by the way, means southern ape Australopithecus. And Africanus obviously refers to the place it was found. Some things that are notable about this fossil, besides just uh, the face and the brain case, you can see, if you flip it over, the brain case is only half uh, preserved. Um, and this is likely the result of, you sort of level this part off here, uh, you can see that the, uh, the sediment had at one point filled the brain case to about this level, uh, and then the actual bone has been lost at some point, in some way, probably by the um, excavation techniques. You also note, obviously, that the jaw is preserved, which is an unusual feature for most uh, hominin fossils. The jaw and the face are usually not the things that are preserved together. Now, the fossils from the site, from the same site, the Tong site where this was found, um, the fossils tend to be of small animals, um, things like turtles, lizards, that sort of thing. Uh, and they happen to match the sorts of fossils that you would find uh, in, and not just fossils, but the actual remains that you would find in uh, an eagle's nest, um, modern day eagles. And in fact, this cast here of the fossil is good enough that we can look right inside you can see the, the marks on the original fossil that were interpreted to be um, the claw marks of an eagle. So it is likely here that the tongue fossils were accumulated as the result of eagle predation. Now as a creationist, I wonder whether the, this has anything to do with human origins or if I'm looking at something else completely different. And I think I'm looking at something completely different. I think that uh, the other fossils that we found from the area that are also Australopithecus show that this creature was not in fact human, that it was unusual in terms of being an ape. It apparently was able to walk around on two legs. Um, the fossil of Littlefoot skeleton that is being um, described right now in the literature uh, shows pretty clearly, I think, that these creatures could walk around on two legs, but they were not, in fact, human. I found no evidence that suggests that these creatures were human. But this is a spectacular fossil from the fossil record. It looks fantastic, and it is the subject of ongoing research in paleoanthropology, along with the rest of the Australopithecus africanus fossils of South Africa.